page 90, prelude number 23, and this is six flats. This is in the key of G flat major, G flat. Again, we're using all the flats, and then we're flattening one more note, which happens to be the C. We're flatting the C, so instead of C, we're going to do B flats. Just go do the scale on G flat major. It's, it's a C flat. See, the F is not flatted. That's fine, but everything else is. Thinking about it is just flat everything except the Fs. Those different people look at it differently. I would prefer you just learn the scale because once you know the scale and you're familiar with it, that's then you're just going to play the notes in the scale. The only thing that throws you then is the accidentals. But let's talk about this common time or four four time, and the pattern, the rhythm one and two and one and two and three, one and two and. This is fingering is fine. Then you come over here and then your treble clef now on both staffs. So you're up here. And then this mess, these whole notes, we'll spell out the chord. Let's see what it is. And you have an E double flat, which takes an E flat, a double flat is here, and then a G flat. Remember, everything is flatted except an F. Double G flat. And then you have a C natural, because it would be a C flat. And then another B flat, which is he or double flat, which is here. So that's it. Well, it doesn't sound so bad. It just looks ugly. But that's what it is. So at the beginning, it's one and two. And then come up here. Here. And then you repeat that. Second ending, now you're down here. C natural and then C flat. And then here. Spell out the chord. Well, you have a G flat and a D flat. And then in this one, it's a B flat, a D flat, an E flat, G flat. Because they're all flat. That's a nice sounding key. So, put in the articulation. You have the Hang on to that tenuto, and if you want to give it a little extra stress, just a hair, it's a you can do wrist here or finger here, it's accent here, staccato, and then tenuto, hang on to that here, and then again, staccato. Allegro's fast. So how fast is it? Well, how fast can you control it? Moderately loud. Again, you can get a little louder and softer, but it's in that area. And then they want pedals on the whole notes. And that's typical with a pedaling. I don't like pedaling only the last measure of a piece. If I'm not going to use pedal before then, I, why bother? But again, it is a, uh, one of the styles of pedaling, one of the uses of a pedal, is you would pedal the longer notes because it adds color to them. It helps. Otherwise, they just sit there. So we pedal the whole notes. So I'll push the pedal down right after I play the chords, and I'll lift it up when I lift up the chords. So at the, for, at the beginning, it's here. it up before I go on. Here, and you do that. And then lift up at the end. It just adds more color. If I play the, like the last measure here without pedal, here, if I add pedal, it, it lets the overtones go. It just colors it just a little bit. And that's the only purpose for it. As far as speed goes, to say Allegro, how fast is Allegro? It's up to you on how fast it is. It's something like that. That's my Allegro. You decide what your Allegro is. It could go faster than that if you really wanted to, I guess.